Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to some mapping. Again. <sighs> Alright. Well, we, uh, of course, have a shit ton to do. I try, not to I try not to think about how much is actually needing to be done. But it's kind of hard not to. There's a lot to do. Uh, I know it needs to be done right now, but I don't want to do it. The fucking cliffs. These cliffs end very abruptly into nothing. And I could use this space for the castle. But of course the castle can't be used in that space if it's looking like that. 218.1 Sure. I mean, the point one is random as fuck, but it's there. So basically what we're going to do is... Oh no, careful. This is what I have to be careful of. If I, if I raise the ground where I didn't before, it will fuck up what the work, all the work I've done so far. So I have to be very cautious and use the biggest brush available. <laughs> Just the epitome of caution. He really does that. So we're floating the idea. Solus was about a balcony that overlooks like the uh, land, kind of from the castle. I mean, I think it's a great idea. I think it was cool. But unfortunately, my map you can't see very far, so it doesn't really work. For the big weather, it's worth the time. Ah, here's exactly what I mean. Because the ground is elevated right there. Fucking, I'm gonna have to readjust all of these fucking things. Ah, I hate that. Because there's no way, unless I just paste things in there, which is what I've been doing. Be pain in the ass. Hi, hi, Thran. I have been thinking about something. Since my people are able to, say, you know, walk through walls, what's to stop them from attacking people through walls? You know what I mean? Can you? Can a unit attack another unit through a pillar or a wall? I can make it impassable, but that doesn't mean they can't, like, throw a, a dagger over it or something, you know what I mean? Does it actually block a line of sight? So I might have to test that shit as well. Let's, let's, let's see. I guess there's only one way to find out. Because uh, the way I've been doing my map is, of course, just kind of assuming that that's just not going to happen. That said, it very well might happen. And that would be kind of bad. Can I have a question for Age of the Ring? I mean, you could try. I may not have the answer. We'll go for it. I'm not that knowledgeable about Age of the Ring, to be honest. Did you say I close the stream? I don't know. Don't close the stream next time. <laughs> I don't remember what I was talking about. Alright. So let's take a... Let's take Witch King, for instance. Or maybe... We'll just get some Risen Dead. Put them here. Let's put a bunch of them here, next to the wall a bit. And we'll put ourselves on the other side, and we'll see if we could throw 
throw a dagger through the wall with Boromir. I'll start here. Actually, I don't know why I'm making a knight. Don't really need to test that. I was wondering, Thran, if... Can I attack shit through walls, basically? Because a lot of times you can walk through the walls. Does that mean I can attack through the walls? And I think... I think yes. That's what I was talking about. Can I earn faster hero levels? Well, that I... That I don't know. Kill things? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, shit, we don't have the Discord overlay on, do we? I mean, we do, but... Okay, good. I mean, if you're making a uh, custom map, you can put these things on the map to... to level up heroes. Or, if you just make a custom map, you can actually start a hero off at a certain level, if you want. But if you're just playing a normal game on a normal map, you're just gonna get to fight things with your hero. It's the only way to really level. Okay. Keep your senses alert now. Let's get one up here. It's gonna look weird because of the, uh, the daytime thing. It's not meant to be a daytime map. I love those trees. Oh, good choice. Forward. Over here. So I was discussing some things with Solus last night. I do want to see if I can give every hero custom power set. It's going to take some serious I and I scripting shit. I don't know how to do any of it. I could use a better view. But over here. I think that would really. Always be running. I'm really limited by the powers that I have chosen. The Northern Kingdom was destroyed long ago. I, I want it to make it a bit more exciting. The powers you can use and stuff. Because I mean, Boromir will be fucking win this war. pretty boring to play, or Eladan rather. Day, Sauron's defeat draws closer. As far as powers goes, at least. What are we waiting for? I could use a better view. I don't. I don't I know. Need you. So we'll see. Because I. I if I could change the powers of heroes, I wouldn't use Oladan. Do not lose hope. He's a cool hero. But like I could use anyone at that point. I shall wait. Okay. I could use a better view. So we shouldn't be able to get into this room. I shall lead you. There's under on the other side. Gondor must stand. So. <laughs> Fuck. Let them come. I could use a better view. That's weird. Gimli's trying to axe though, but he can't. Hmm. Also, can you? I hope you can't like sweep over a impassable area. That would be pretty bad. I shall wait. Follow me. I don't think you can, but let them come. How far can this game leave? His leap is actually very short. That's good. Your senses alert now. If he was stupid on two game way, he'd be jumping down the fucking I know what I'm the start of the map. I stand as your captain. Forward. So ideally we don't I was floating the idea of having an archer hero. But I can't have an archer hero if they can just sit here and shoot through a wall. To your death, beast! That's exactly what they can do. Rally again. So that sucks. That's why I removed the Aragorn with the bow to begin with. I 
how do you stop how do you stop that how do you make it so units can't shoot through walls there's gotta be a way god knows how oh well I won't worry about it for now but it is something on the back of my mind Okay, so basically we finished this room, at least. At least. Let's get rid of these, uh, dead hordes. Let's say Archer Hero reminds me of Average Lame Creator last night. Well, yeah. It wouldn't at least... I, use, I do use the word at least a lot. <laughs> Not even trying to. But it would... It would uh, it wouldn't be like that OP, at least. <laughs> okay, so I thought of something for the edge, of the end of the map. So basically, you're gonna you're gonna go up to this hole in the wall, and then like you say, "What? Well, we need to go down." It looks like we need to go down or something, and then like a, a rope will spawn next to them. I think that'd be kind of good. We have three different ropes we could try. This one looks to be the best. Or this one. This one has a weird end. I don't, I don't particularly like that one. But it'll look like you're about ready to scale. Scale down the hole. That'd be cool. And we'll put that behind uh, here somewhere. I think, uh, what did I say? Like, uh, I didn't realize I was that close to the edge of the map. Fuck. What do you mean, is it possible? I just, I just have to make an object spawn onto the world, Theron. Of course it's possible. You there you go. I'm not saying he's going to use the rope to actually go down a hole. This will be the end of the map. I'm just going to make him say a thing, and then this will spawn on the ground next to them. And then the map will end. So it looks like they would have used a rope to go down. We're not actually going down a rope. Oh my god. Jesus. We're not we're not going anywhere down. I mean to the next level, the next map. It's the end of the map. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> Forget I said anything. Jesus. But I, I, I now realize I have very, very limited space, and this is not good. Look how little space I have to make the end of the map. <sighs> Fuck. That actually sucks. I'm not sure what to do about that. I would have made it elsewhere had I realized. Use a teleport script and use another spot. Yeah, I guess that's an option. Okay, I guess we'll do that. So I have to make it if any of the heroes walk into a teleport place, all of them walk there, right? Otherwise, it's going to be weird. Or maybe not. I guess for the end teleporter, at least. <sighs> Fuck me. I don't know. Okay, so we'll do that. This, this side will be a treasure room. So we'll make like a little, little vault with some monies and stuff behind it. That way I can use the, uh... You feel like you got loot from the end of the boss. You'd be like, ooh, a treasure room. And then, of course... You pick up gold. 
Not for any particular reason, just, just because you can. And of course I've set aside some gold and stuff. There's also like the stacks of coins and the there's even a f floor texture that could work for this. Just like coins. Where's the harem? <laughs> I think we have ones, right? Crazy, I know. Just gotta make sure whatever I use doesn't give you levels. That said, depends on how I do the heroes. Levels won't matter. I could actually give you level chests throughout the map if I do want you to level. <sighs> I don't know. There's so much I could do. After playing a custom map, it's pretty crazy. I find myself thinking about my map and going, it could be so much more exciting, but I can't balance it around what I have. I mean, I can't, I couldn't balance it the best of days, but I couldn't even begin to balance it. So I'm not sure what to do, other than be able to change heroes. Spell book and change their stats. Which sounds like so difficult. We could have a look at some INI for uh, uh, does this, does this look familiar, Thran? <laughs> I also have a back, I'm using a background of that. That's him. Dark Elf guy. Uh, what was I doing? Lost my train of thought. Alright, here's the, uh, here's what the balcony would look like. If I was to make one. You don't see very far, so it's kind of not worth it, I think. It also have to be quite higher, because the cliff edge is there. I still might try one. But I don't know if it'll be cool. Just because of the crippling darkness my map suffers from. Uh... I do have a folder name, however. That came from Thran, though. It's a map. I actually don't... It was, uh... It was so Thran could uh, tell me what how to uh, change... Do you, like, do words? Basically. Because I didn't, I didn't know how to, like, make text. So that was something. It is... That's also where I keep all my average dick pics. <laughs> It's a very small folder for very small pictures, you know what I mean? Anyway. What? Uh, I was opening something. Right. I remember. We're gonna look at the, uh... Map I and I... For, uh, this... We're gonna just, we're just gonna look through some INI files for a minute. See if we can find something that maybe shows us how to do stuff. So I don't I don't know what any of this is for, quite frankly. What the hell's a G-Sod? <laughs> I don't know. Gladrial tornadoes. Effects and Blade Master effects. Ugly Sword Fire. I mean, these are for custom heroes. So I don't know. This is how you turn Fireball into a, a throw mine, I guess. Or at least look wise. I'm already confused. See, this is why I hate this. <laughs> I don't understand any of this. I think the one we need to look at is uh, Elements of Moria, because they use vanilla heroes. So perhaps there's something in here that shows us. But they have their vanilla hero powers, don't they? Right. Might be interesting to have a special uh, power, power tree. 
I was, just, I, was just, I was gonna just limit you to five, <coughs> five voice, limit you to five power points, and just let you get heal. But like we could get like elven gifts or something, you know? Maybe that'd be cool. That way your heroes will be a little stronger, or something, and you can get like nothing crazy. Just let you summon a fucking citadel, no problem. Mm, min spellbook of red. So this is how you replace spellbooks with other shit. Ugh. I hate this. I couldn't learn I and I stuff if I wanted to. It is too confusing for me. Like I don't know what any of this means. Even if I did, I still wouldn't. I just see this overwhelming amount of text, and I'm just like, Ugh. I get some of it, but looking at it in just like a wall of text is really not not good for my brain. Okay, well we've got object. Watch your head. So that's how they. Gave the Watcher a bunch of health. Gave him a big lifetime. Death type faded. I don't think I'll be using the Watcher myself. I might in the second map. It'd make more sense in like an underground place, more so than a castle, you know? So I might use the Watcher as a thing in the next map. But for now, I could at least use the arms. At the very least. Worms? I could use worms in the next map, too. I'd feel... But, uh, fuck. Mortar Balrog. Balrog would be the boss of the third map, though. I think he's going to be the final boss. Because he'll be like the devil, basically. It makes more sense on a lake, not underground. Shut up, Commissar. <laughs> There's underground water. Have you seen underground caves? Jeez. Oh yeah, I was also looking through this to see if I could find a... The reason Gandalf like was glowing. If anyone remembers in the custom app, the Gandalf had like a glow around him. I was gonna see if I could put that on all heroes, that'd be kind of interesting, but like when you would go in the second map. But I don't see where that is. I don't see anything useful here really. <sighs> Did we finish this map? No, we're not staying to it. Oh. I was enjoying that. We got legend ionize. I don't even I don't want to look at this right now. <laughs> it's too much. Too much. That shouldn't be there. That's probably from a crash. Okay. This is... This is that realm map we looked at yesterday. I'm just curious what they use. Yeah. Spell books. I'd love to use like that special fire drink though, if I can. I thought that was pretty cool. I'd love to use them on my third level map. I don't want to get ahead of myself though. 
I mean, I would probably never make it a third map. I'll be quite honest. I might not even make it to the second second map. I do feel like the second map will be a lot easier than the third, or the first rather. The first is the biggest undertaking. And once I understand how to do some scripting, I guess. Which won't happen. It would be useful. And then I just be able to blaze through it. <laughs> Probably not. I don't remember what the uh, airboard coin oh, is this. Or gold. Let's put that there as well. Flags. Where's that like coin? There's like a coin stack, but I don't remember where it is or what it's called. Treasure chests. Treasure chest thousand. Sure. Oh, fuck. Thran, do you remember where the fucking. the coin is? You know what I mean? Like the little coin stacks? You know what they were called? Or are they in something else? You told me about them, but I don't remember. I, I know I've seen them before. I just don't remember where they are. Maybe they're in the dwarf section? Specifically dwarves? So I'm going to let her run through this. Okay, we're back down the beginning. <sighs> there, and you also watch Bob Ross on Twitch. I'll be honest, I watch Bob Ross on Twitch sometimes. It's enjoyable. Good. I have no idea where it is. Is it maybe it's in Moria? Oh, there's very, very little in Moria. Okay. It's not Moria. Fuck, where is it? Let's find that gold texture first. Uh, it's probably in Misk, if I had to guess. There it is, gold Erebor. So we can basically make the floor like look like coins. So that's pretty cool. And basically if we just like, you know, Make it like not just a flat surface. It'll look pretty good. So that's pretty cool. There's three different ones. What's the difference? Ah, oh, these have gem. Okay, let's put those there. This one there. This one there. Those gems are massive. <laughs> What should the vault room be? Should it share the same texture set as the throne room? Or should it go back into castle style? Hmm. I'm thinking the rooms that branch off of this should keep this black wall we're using. 
everything up to this point we'll keep the other shit and also make it easier because then I can just use these again okay so this will be pretty cool it'll be a, a neat little end room where you get a lot of a lot of loot I like it. So let's, it doesn't have to be big. We don't want it to be big, in fact. Let's uh, just take this wall here. Probably make it like, uh, I don't know. We'll go out the side of these. We'll kind of use those since they're already there. Put this around. We'll make it go at an angle, because that always that always works. Fine. Cause I never get that wrong. That's already fucking way off. It's probably easier to do from the top. Okay, that's... Is that close? I guess so. <laughs> close enough. Alright, let's take these as well. We're not going to put like the decorations and stuff on this side though. This room is just going to be for treasure. No point of uh, going crazy with it. Will this be big enough for treasure if I just go like kind of a circle here? It may yet, Mr. Frodo. Up. I can feel it. It's pretty close so far. Okay, let's move this shit array away here. Let's clear this up. I don't think we're gonna put like any weird shit in there, like armor or anything. So we'll just have it. We'll just have it be treasure. You get all kinds of things in a treasure room, but I think gold will be enough. Golden gems and such. I don't feel like putting like suits of armor or anything in there. Or, like vases or whatever. Earns. Really depends on what you think is valuable, huh? Yes, this is the part where it's going to be a pain in the ass. It's close. Just need one of these. Which of course will be too wide, but that's fine. Doesn't have to share the whole be the whole piece. Should do it like this. Well, that fits in really well, actually. Cool. So that'll be our treasure room. Which is gonna be hard to work on. Because the walls are so tall and it's such a small space. <sighs> I'm <gonna> actually. <laughs> hmm. It's fine. It's 
That's fine. Okay, so let's let's start making some mounds, shall we? We've got like three. That's right, lower two, I guess. Fuck. That's what I was worried about. Got to make sure it doesn't touch the. Starting to look like what I want. Once we add a texture on it, it'll look pretty cool. I don't think the whole floor needs to be textured, of course. Like a. I think we're gonna use an actual. Oh shit. The floor plates are going to go into here. Why don't you cast anymore? I do sometimes. Put one on YouTube not even like two weeks ago. But most of the time there's just... There's not any good replays to cast anymore. It's just kind of no point. And I just... I don't know. Don't feel like it. I just prefer playing over casting really. See how this goes. The floor plates will probably stick through. I should probably finalize the throne room. Really? For now, let's just do this, see what it looks like. We'll do the whole room bucket for now. I'll fix that later. I don't want the whole room to look like just coined around, but for testing purpose. Well, it looks it looks a little weird being like a sharp edge. Oh yeah. I mean, what little I can see looks pretty good. But I can't see shit. <laughs> I guess if we turn off objects. Oh, that's icons. I mean, it looks like a like a pile of cash. It's a pimple of penis finished. It is, pretty much. I would say yes. Let's uh, let's just put Aragorn in here and see how it looks in game. I probably need to fix it up a bit, but overall. Also slightly weird to a camera angle. Let's move this door and we'll just walk in there. Walk in and take it on a whim. I do want to see it in the natural camera angle. Or camera lighting rather. Global lighting. It's going to be where the hell is everyone? I remember loading up the map not not too long ago. But where was I? <laughs> this is the problem. If I don't remember where I put Aragorn, then, uh, it's a real pain. I remember. Is he out here somewhere? 
That's the rest of the fellowship. Where's he at? I thought he was like right there. We'll go in game. We'll find him that way. Fuck it. I fucking can't remember where I put him. This will be a finding error, finding ergo in scenario, as well as having look at the gold. Forest, I think. Probably. I remember moving around with the whole party. So he was probably pretty close to them. But I didn't see him. But also, I didn't look that hard. CBA. <laughs> I do I do like the, the coin ground. I think it looks cool. A time may come for valor without you. Oh, he was right inside the fucking door. Indeed. What do we have here? Indeed. That is our road. It's weird the gate looks closed until you close. Oh, I that is our road. I wish that wasn't the case. But I think that's just a draw distance thing. Not much I could do about that. I do genuinely wonder why my draw distance It's because of the camera angle, I'm guessing. That is our road. But why is I'm it going like that? Oh no. I can't actually get in. I made the throne room completely impassable. And I forgot. Hang on. Well, now that I know where Aragorn is, I can fix this. Just give me one moment. We'll just move him manually. Okay. I wish I was back in luxury again, but oh well. Gates open for Aragorn. You mean missing Billy? Actually, I don't think it says missing Billy anymore. Because I replaced the Aragorn with a different one. I do need a couple of some names of the heroes. That should be easy enough. It could be whatever the fuck I want it to be. Because they're obviously not, I don't want them to be the normal Lord of the Rings people. This is not a Lord of the Rings themed map in any way, so I want them to have like something. Else. I know what hunts you. We must wait for cover of darkness. We shall hold here. Good night, Thrain. Don't tell me he can't pass through there. Ah. Once again, <laughs> the entirety of the throne room is impassable. I knew this, and then I didn't register that in my brain, apparently. One moment, I gotta fix this shit again. Maybe the treasure room will open. I was thinking originally the treasure room will open and the end of the map will open. But I think the treasure room will open after you defeat the boss. I'll drop the key to the treasure room. You'll go in there and you'll find the key as well as a bunch of treasure to the end of the map, which will open the other door. I think that'll help you not just completely missing the treasure room. That is our road. So you go in here, you'll get a key and I'll unlock this door. So basically you get a key from him, unlock this door, and then you get a key in there to unlock that door. It's a long way. It's a chain of keys. Go for. Indeed. That is our road. This is pretty cool. We do not stop till nightfall. It'd be really cool if you could make it like the walking sounds. That is our Sound road. Sound like he's walking on coins. These are strange tracks. Be amazing. What do we have here? 
Go for. Actually, I think for the most part we can have the floor look like it's just coins. We just need like the doorway to be like not. I think overall. We shall hold here. This part's obviously too flat. We'll have to add some depth to the whole thing. We shall hold here. But I do like how the uh, the lumps of coins look. The texture. Pretty neat. So I'll fix it up a bit. And of course we're going to throw in some actual treasure. I was going to use this treasure pile, but it comes with rocks. I'm sure I want to use that in there, because why would there be rocks in your treasure room? So I don't think we will use that. In this part, at least. We could have those be somewhere else. Like, these will be perfect in the catacomb level, because there would be reasons for rocks to be there. These, on the other hand, are actually treasure. So I think we'll just spawn some of these around. And you'll be rich. But of course, since it's not a flat floor, you might have floating objects if you're not careful. So we do have to be cautious as far as that's concerned. Not sure we want to use this one either. It's kind of like off. I yeah, could have one pile of it. Okay. This one fits perfectly though. Because I'm sure this was made for it. I guess we could do it like this and just like. The middle floor can stay flat. But we'll fill the uh, flat bit with treasure that you can pick up. Yeah. That makes sense to me. It'd just be nice if I could do this without, like, not being able to see what I'm doing. Yeah, I think this one's too. too out of place. And we'll dot some treasure chests about. Imagine walking into a room like this, I would shit my pants. That does look pretty good. I think I'm going to finalize the floor of this room before I do too much. If I'm going to add any more objects, I'm not sure. I don't want this here, I don't think. If I do, maybe. Maybe later. At least for now, this will be what the boss room is until I decide otherwise. I can remove the floor. I forgot and this camera angle sucks. We need to get the right shape, basically. of Because we have a very oversized floor at the moment. So we need to see how much of this we actually need. I do have a slight problem in which it's going to overlap a lot. It might not fit perfectly. So we can go like this. But then this one, front one, will have to be deleted or something. 
Uh, we can't just have it sticking through. Well, I say that. It actually doesn't look that bad. So any dick jokes move about the castle shape yet? Yes, Solus, actually. <laughs> Believe it or not, yes, they have. It's exactly what I went to when I figured out. When I finished the room, I was like, you know what? It looks like a dick. And I said, what is this, the Solus stream? I was there when the West Pole fell. It was, it was the time. It wasn't on purpose. <laughs> it's just kind of, just kind of turned out that way, you know. I definitely went oversized with the uh, floor plates. Like if I delete this one, is it going to be? No. Okay. How's the floor plates in... Oh! The floor plates actually work with this. As long as we bring up the, uh, the floor in certain areas, the treasure will... Ah, but it, I kind of liked it without it. Yeah, we'll see. First things first, though. I do have to delete everything around it. I'm gonna go in. Yeah, fuck. Okay, I actually need to make this floor invisible, so. This has to be a bit more. done with a bit more. finesse than usual. At least when they're on the, or on the edge. Actually, does it? Maybe not. I should just make sure I don't go into the treasure room with it. Because then all the going parts will become visible. And this part here. Everything else can be kind of haphazardly done. So, there we go. Now we'll go like 80. Maybe, maybe a bit too big. Turn off objects, that'll help us see. We missed a bit, yeah, we did. I think that's fine. We'll go over the carpet just a bit. Because I can't see under it anyway. There we go. So the floor should be in working order now. It does have a nice reflection like when you go around. The lighting. Pretty nice. So what we could do is do a little bit in here. Like a just enough for like a floor plate. So let's go like two, I don't know. Make just make like an entrance bit where it is the floor is invisible. So it looks like it continues on. And then we just delete the rest of the floor plates in here. Mm. It's gonna be kind of weird. Right, that's what I that's what I thought might happen. I might have to keep this one. So 
so we'll go visible. Ah, it's gonna be very peculiar, to say the least. All right, so we want visible all around the edge of this. And then we'll bring up the floor, maybe, with the tool to make it so it's not so edged. It's still edged. I think no matter what I do, it's going to be like square. You know what I mean? I'm not sure if there's a way to do this properly. Like this bit here is. I hate. You just like. We have an invisible floor, like, going up above. I think maybe it's the problem it's invisible. Maybe we don't need to make the floor invisible. That's also something. That's why I want to. I want to avoid that if possible. Bringing the actual floor up. I don't want glitching out too much either. That might be good. I wish I could tell. So that's kind of what I was going for. Maybe we'll take this out a bit. Why is this like... Oh, right. That's the edge of this thing. So this needs to be... Yeah, we'll leave that like that. from what I can see, <laughs> which isn't much. It looks pretty good. How is the, uh, the floor plate height? Okay. So this has to go down, which is going to fuck everything up a bit. It's supposed to be an under or over plate. I probably deleted one too many plates. But yeah, whatever. Okay, so we want minus three, I guess, because that goes into the other one. No one's gonna notice the floor is a little off. As long as everything looks fine. I'm worried once I bring this up, it's going to bring the floor up again. Yeah. How do I get this to smooth? Oh. It was not visible. Hang on. Let's undo that. Make this visible. Easier said than done, isn't it? Because if you're not careful, you're going to end up with like, these rough edges. But if you... ah, Jesus. Alright, just bring up tiny bits over here. They're like invisible. It's not fixing it. <laughs> ah, it was fine when the. The plate was floating.
Maybe that's what we need to do. Just get this right first. And just adjust the plate afterwards. Alright, so we'll go... Okay, this is all visible. Good. This is exactly the problem I knew I would have. It's a bit annoying, but you know. Why is this side so smooth and this side is just like janky as shit? I don't understand. Oh, because that's a different plate. Okay. Maybe that's fine? It's not fine. It's a gas. I think we're bringing up another plate as well. Oh no. That's what I get for making a floor that isn't just a floor. Oh yeah, now we have this massive fucking cone. That's not what I want. It's all going wrong. I'm starting to lose hope. Fucking flatten this out. Just go to eighteen point nine for now. That's the normal height of the world. Shit. Why do we have this? Oh, the plate is down there. I mean, that's, that's close. That's damn close. Okay. So we need to go not visible here. Something like that. <laughs> not quite. Why is it? I feel like this is more difficult than it should be. What am I missing? Because this is also like a weird height, perhaps. So here's where the plate ends. So we at least need this part to be visible. Then it does that. I don't, I don't understand why the floor, when it comes above, doesn't just look better. I feel like it should. I guess because the floor is always higher than the plates. Maybe we need to lower the floor of this room. Fuck me. Wow. <laughs> oh. This everything's fine except for there. That's so frustrating. How to fix it? You would think just putting like a treasure mound here would be fine. But 
it's not. It's not fine. Maybe we need another floor plate. That could be it, actually. Not sure how. What the fuck? That's not what I was trying to click on at all. I think I just deleted one too many floor plates. That's gotta be it. So if we bring this down enough, it'll give us a bit more floor. But we just make most of this invisible. We just want to cover up that little spot. Which I'm not sure where this would go normally. I guess like this. Yeah. Yeah. So it needs to be like... Like that. That's borderline acceptable. Except for that hole. to the other direction. Right, so that seems to have fixed what my problem was for the most part. Just bring this up a bit. Wonderful. Let's make the rest of this not visible here. Okay, is that good? Jesus, that was that was an ordeal. Well, let's never touch this room again. <laughs> it's fine. We do need to keep going around the floor plates, though. Delete the ones we don't need. I wish it would stop showing me the taintability or the passability. Asking you shall receive. Alright, is this plate necessary? Does it leave a hole in the floor? Yes, it does. I want to cut down as many items as I can as well. Because, of course, we still have a lot of castle to go. It seems like a lot of these are vital. Oh, no. I don't know how to do the ones like that castle gate without, like, Fucking the castle gate. We could put objects there to cover this. Or just paint the floor, maybe. Make this visible. Texture. Uh, visibility. Visible. Let's just make like, those two squares visible. These few visible. And then we can just like make them dark. No? Oh. Alright. Maybe just go for the work with stone? Maybe. Not quite dark enough. There's always the black course, the parking lot texture, but I think that's too black to be honest. Let's find out. I mean, it works, but it's still kind of weird. I mean, I don't think we're going to find anything to fit there, realistically. I mean, what, what the hell would look like this other than this? So I don't want to use floor plates for too much, because you really, you have to go a certain width. Which can be a bit frustrating, mapping around this area. I'm just hoping I didn't remove any I shouldn't have by accident. Okay. 
Okay, for the most part, it looks fine. We could probably, like, I don't know, throw some more fountains over there. Just cover it up a little bit. Let's make them, like, a little bigger by the, by the door. At least you won't see it. You know? I'd rather have a weird fountain than a hole in the ground. Set about the same. The section touches us. There. I'd say that's an all right compromise. All right, so let's let's finish the treasure room a bit. It's easier if I could like see. <laughs> it's actually good for our weird camera angle. It might be useful for this. Yeah, I can actually see what we're going to see. Put a few more, a few more treasure chests in here. You're gonna pick up a lot of gold at the end of this. I don't care. Like, it has no use. It's just for fun. So might as well make it enjoyable, right? You get that you get that euphoria rush. Just pick up a lot of gold for no reason. I don't remember how much these are worth. I think like ten thousand. <laughs> it's a lot. That's probably good enough. I love gold! I think we're not going to sprinkle any of these like gem ones in there, because I think those gems are massive. It looks a bit odd. Already in the right camera angle. Bitching. Let's see how much gold you actually pick up in that room. If one person wants to go in and get everything. Probably like 100,000. Something crazy. And then you go into the next map and have none. You'd be like, what? <laughs> it's not about, it's not about continue, continue, continue out, continuity, continuality. I don't remember the word. Continuity. A time may come for valor without you. Into the wild. These are strange tracks. You just go around the room real quick. I'm going to have a look around. That's exactly what we're going to do, Aragorn. You're not wrong. He's floating. That is our road. They are floating. Fuck. It's a long way. That means they're all floating. We do not stop till nightfall. That also means I can do them in mass. We must wait for cover of darkness. So that's good. Into the wild. I'm going to have a look around. Let's bring them all down by one. What do we have here? I don't fix that. That is our road. We do not stop till nightfall. Oh no, they're not floating. That's what the bottom. It curves here? in. I forgot. That's right. It has like a slope on the inside. Okay. Go forward. No, we don't need to fix it. We must wait for cover of darkness. I was like, how did I make such we a glaring mistake? Here. Into the wild. I do like the weapons on the walls. Indeed. The I think it looks good. What do we have here? It's not too crazy. Indeed. But it looks alright. These are strange tracks. Indeed. Indeed. That is our road. It's a long way. What do we have here? Oh no. I already see a problem. It's fucking. This floor plays way down. We 
We do not stop till nightfall. Also, we go into the floor because this whole place is high. Mm. <laughs> I see. Okay. Cool. I'm going to have a look around. Anyway. We do not stop till nightfall. That is our road. Oof. I'm going to have a look around. It is satisfying. Missile hold here. What do we have here? Five Missile hold here. Go for. Okay. That is our road. Fifty thousand gold in there. I, don't I think I started with four K. Strange tracks. Nice. I'm going to have a look around. I'm happy with that. I'm not happy with the floor plates, though. Into the wild. As I should have known. So the gold is fine. Everything else. I can almost call this room done, which is nice. We'll need to add a light, of course, as well. In there. I'll just throw some of those like sconce things on the floor or something. Okay. Well, in this camera angle, I can do this properly, I guess. I'm just worried he's gonna. Yeah. Exactly. It's going to be difficult to get right. Two looks fine. I don't care if your feet go in the floor a little bit. I'll be honest. Whatever. The alternative is hell. I don't think anyone's really going to notice that anyway. It's a small room. And for the most part, the sharp edges are not there. It's not completely good, but it's for the most part good. Could just do this. There we go. I did that raise it. Let's bring it down just ever so slightly, like ten. Maybe put twenty. Please. Yes. Yes. That's acceptable. Fan fucking tastic. Alright, let's put the door back. Well, let's not put the door on it yet. We need. We need some of these, I think. Or we could put a pillar with. Torches are not in there. That could work too. Let's see how that looks. Just kind of like put it here. Okay, wrong camera angle for this. Should make it more difficult than it has to be. Okay, that looks good, but I think we need to use the single torch one, not the uh, multi torch one. Which are here. Oh, yeah, I need to adjust the floor or the walls. I think they got fucked up in there. This is actually so weird. I press locked object and it deselects the object. That doesn't make a lot of sense. Why does it keep like doing that sharp turn? I really like that. Maybe. We could do like that, not actually have a pillar. Just have it like sticking out of the wall a little bit. Could be good if we can get it to look proper. Not be glitching it too much. 
like that. Perfect. Maybe it needs to go over a smidge. So it lines up the wall. That's good looking. I like that. Okay. Uh, I think we need three of them. One in each of these, like, moon-shaped bits. So hopefully it doesn't glitch out in game. If it looks as good as it does in World Builder, then I'm quite happy with how that is. Because it looks like a part of the wall now instead of like a pillar or whatever. Which is a, something we haven't done yet. So instead of just using a pillar, something a bit more unique. Because I really, like I said in the beginning, I only have two options for torches. <laughs> these sconces on these pillars and the ones on the floor. The only one that looked, looks remotely like flame in the my lighting. Oh. Maybe like three, three sticking out. I didn't do that with this one. Oh fuck, that's the wall. It's so finicky. Getting this special spot is so difficult for some fucking reason. See, it like overshoots it, but just a tiny bit. Fuck you. <sighs> okay, let's try again. Oh. There's like a sweet spot. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Got it. Should be. Shouldn't it be as. <laughs> shouldn't be as arousing as it is. But it is, my god. So basically, we just have to bring these floor. these wall pieces down a bit. The ones that got adjusted too much. So I can't we can't do them both at the same time, I don't think. That wouldn't make sense. So then you go down four. Maybe more than that. More than that. Ten. Okay. So this one needs to go down more. Six. I'm assuming this one is good still. So we're kind of basing it up that one's height. Because I could be wrong. <laughs> it might have been lifted. It looks looks fine. I guess that one should be the same as this one, right? 17, 117. Let's just adjust everything to this height. Oh no. The wrong direction. Twenty. There you go. This one just needs to go up a tiny bit. Oops. Wrong object. There we go. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just be close enough. Ideally, all the lines on the walls will line up, like so. So this like white line lines up all the way across. 
It's tedious, let me tell you. This is exactly what I don't want to do. So I don't like the idea of raising ground underneath things too much, so it changes ob objects' height values, because then it just gets to be a real pain in my ball sack. Let me tell you, I don't like painting my ball sack. I don't know about you. That lines up, but it's floating. That doesn't make sense. Does this need to go down more? Hmm. Okay, maybe the tops need to go down more then. Yay! Oh, they're going into the... Oh, that's not a space, that's the fucking lip. Damn. Never mind. Pillar's not supposed to be sticking at the top. That wasn't part of the plan. <clears throat> is, that work? is that happening on all of these? No. I could just bring this top part forward and cover that. Or, or not. Actually, that doesn't look terrible. You're not going to see this bit anyway, so it doesn't fucking matter. Although it will overlap and have this, like, edge... So it will look terrible. Maybe we push these in one. <sighs> Pissed me off. <laughs> It doesn't need to be like this. Twelve. No, wrong way. Close enough. <clears throat> Yikes. I have to just every fucking one of these. It's fine. Everything, everything is fine. So we'll only let two. Two of these things stick out, maybe. Like that. That might put it far enough back to the point where we don't have to fuck around with it. I like the three, but, you know, two. Still acceptable. I have two there, does that... No, it has to be like one to be acceptable. I don't think it looks as good as one, though. I'd rather have all three. Let's undo what we just did. I think it's fine. I think we'll just say it's fine. No one's gonna fucking see that anyway. Or we'll just do this. And say fuck it. <laughs> Let's do that. It'll leave an overhang. At this point, I just... I, I don't care. Gotta be a way to uh, not that. It's gotta be a way to get it perfect, but it's like, like from the angle I'm doing it, it's very difficult to, to tell. Sure, I'll go with that. Let's finish this real quick, please. I, I want to be done with this room. I hate it now. It's become tedium. Mass amounts of tedium. There we go. Okay. I think that's good. No? Why is this part so high up? This actually doesn't match the rest of the, uh... 
Maybe that's the problem. Maybe this is sticking up a lot. To what end? Well, you can tell all the things aren't aligned because this one sticks up over this. This one goes under it. You know what? Don't care. I think it's good enough. No one's going to notice. It's it's close to the point where it looks at least symmetrical to some degree. My problem now is this sticks out a little and this doesn't. So we need to do... This might be like a slight angle that the other one isn't. Also could be a problem. If we went down enough, this pillar would almost work. I think something's off with the way I did this <coughs> this room. <laughs> so the top doesn't fit properly. Uh, let's undo that. You probably can't even see this bit. That's what annoys me most. This should be almost ideal. I just need, I just need to rotate enough to be even. I don't mind if it's sticking out a little bit on both sides, as long as it's doing it in both sides. Or we could just alternatively not stick out on either side. Okay, that's that's the perfect spot. Now let's just get it to look. The same on both sides. Please. Please have mercy upon me. Oh my God. Look, it just... It does not want to go just tiny bits. It's so frustrating. It like goes, or then it jumps too far forward because your angle... Hmm... <sighs> I like can't physically get to the fucking spot I want to put it at. But I can't do it from the top because I can't see where it needs to land. Why does it jump? This part's gonna make me rage quit. <laughs> Just rotate a wall. There! It's sticking out on both sides. I don't care. At least it's symmetrical ish. Done. Room's done. Fuck you, room. Let's go in game. God, that was that was so much harder than it needed to be. It's things like that that make me frustrated. It's so annoying. Okay, we're gonna have to go back to get the right lighting. Of course. We need to I think we need to move this door for now. Well, that's gonna be easier said than done, isn't it? I don't just make sure we put it. Let's put it here. And we need to make this passable. So we can actually get into said room. I don't know why the passability keeps like disappearing at certain angles. It's a bit weird. Actually this is this is part of the wall. Where is it? Yeah, it's close. There we go. 
We should be able to walk in and out of there. Let's grab our hero. Put him at the beginning. Do the run again. Where am I? <laughs> Maybe from the top. I'm gonna be so happy when this map is done. You ever wanna look at it again? I'll finish it and be like, yay! Never play it. <laughs> I don't wanna see it again. It's brought me too much pain, misery. I think that's fair. Hope it looks good. I don't want to add anything to it. I suppose we could add a light. I'm going to have a look around. Like we've done in like the hallways and stuff. These are strange tracks. Like to make maybe the walls light up or something. Where they are we using those lights? We like, shall hold here. Doesn't look like we are. Where they are we We're not. Indeed. We must wait for cover of darkness. Go for treasure. We must wait for cover of darkness. I mean, the light doesn't make the floor shine any, so it won't matter. These are strange tracks. I'd love to make this room like shiny. Indeed, but it's not. In this time of day, it looks very dark. Into the wild. I'd love it if it was like these are strange tracks. Can we add sparkles? Into the wild. Indeed. I'm possible? going to have a look round. We shall hold here. That is our road. Into the wild. We do not stop till nightfall. Where is It's a long way. I'm going to have a look round. Go for. Hmm. I have an idea. It won't really help with this, but I think it might be cool. Uh, let's go back to here. Okay. Let's fix my camera setting. So this is Moria Light. I'm sure we've all seen it, you know? That one that like shines down, a bright white light. Maybe we could throw it down there, and it might look cool. Let's see, like there's a, like a little window in the top or something. I think I actually have it in a daydream objects map. I was looking around for things I could use. In the caverns map, basically. So I'm going to use some of these. Because, I mean, they're just cool set pieces. I'll be a little shitty textured. This. We might be able to use this in there. If we put it deep enough. It might not show all the crap. There's probably a light like that anyway, without, but maybe not as epic looking. I think there is, but I don't remember. So I knew you could do like sun rays, but that's like extreme sun rays, you know? Alright, 
Let's see if we can make this work, eh? I mean, it's kind of hard to tell, all things considered. It's going to be hard to hide that pillar, no matter how deep I go. Well, I say that. Maybe not. That might be good, huh? We try different angles as well, just not to be from that way. I think straight ahead might be cool. I'm just curious to see how it looks. It might look really bad in game. Or too blinding or something in this camera angle, I don't know. I'm willing to give it a go though. For science. Of course I'm gonna walk all the way over there again. We could probably find something less intense, just as a sun ray. It's probably a better option. It doesn't make the room look brighter though, so it doesn't really solve my problem because I wanted the I want the floor to sparkle, but of course it's not really possible. So I'm not really sure what to do about that, other than just whatever. Because even if I put a proxy light in there, like one of the campfire things that we've been using, I do not know what strength is. They don't make the floor light up. What do we have here? These are strange do. tracks. Okay. Makes the wall light up, but the floor stays dark as we hell. Hold here. And this is technically all floor. It's a long way. So the gems won't shine by the gold. There's no way to make the floor light up, as far as I can tell. Which is a bit of a bummer. That is our road. What do we have here? Go for. We do not stop till nightfall. I mean, the alternative is we don't use the dark and script at all. Into the wild. And we just have the same. We shall hold here. Nighttime vibe all throughout. It's a long way. We shall hold here. It's an option I've been floating. Go for. I like the darkness because I think it adds a bit more of a. Wait for cover of darkness. Like a, Into the wild. Like a dark and vibe. I guess. I don't know. Ooh. I mean, that's kind of cool, no? Indeed. Yeah, everyone agrees. <laughs> These are strange tracks. Where they live. Oh, it's just a kind of it. These are strange tracks. What do we have here? These are strange tracks. Into the wild. Also, doesn't make a lot of sense, I guess, now that I think about it. This is a dark time map. It's a long way. Mm, there's some floating gold. These are strange tracks. Do not stop till nightfall. We must wait for cover of darkness. I really like it, but I really don't think it fits. Into the wild. These are strange tracks. The, the daytime, nighttime thing. People will be like, where the fuck is that sunlight coming from? And I'd be like... What? We must wait for <laughs> cover of darkness. What do you mean? It's always been that way. Also, this... This is a bit jagged. Let me smooth this out a little. Oh, also I can see under the floor plates. Of course I can! Nothing's ever fucking fixed. <sighs> Alright. Thing is, I was gonna, I'm going to use those lights in the second map. Underground. And if it was still dark time, it still wouldn't make sense. Maybe sense. Fuck your sense. What? <laughs> yeah. Let me fix this fucking floor plate again. Like, how many times I gotta edit this goddamn thing to be the right height? Just 
depends on what camera angle you look at it from, pretty much. Just, just ever so slightly. There we go. Now the floor goes jutted over each other, but I don't care. It's a small piece. Okay, somehow I need to get in here and like fix the jagged edges. No, that's exactly what we don't want. We don't want this to happen. How am I going to do this without fucking this up? Maybe like I'm a higher feather? Oh, jeez. Something wrong. Okay, it's having the opposite effect of what I wanted. I don't want the floor to get fucked up in any way. But it's hard to touch this part without. Even a one brush. I don't think a one brush does anything. One size. Shit. Well, hopefully, I can make this invisible and have it work, or else it's going to be annoying. Invisible. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's easier than I thought. We did set some floating treasure. I think this is the most jagged edge we have. That's kind of weird. I have another floor when adjusted. I synced it. How much is the floor fucked? Seems okay. Looks could be deceiving though. I don't trust it. I'm gonna leave this light. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. I also don't care. But it does need to go down more. Because the pillar is still there. How do I select it though? That's the real question. Where is it? If we go down like another 20, it'll be fine. Some of this gold's floating, but I can't really tell which. Any sane person would leave this alone and say, fuck it. I guess since it's like clipping into each other, it doesn't really matter. You only really notice once you take one. And only I notice. Because I have a painstaking eye for this kind of thing. Which is to my detriment, I feel. I'm actually going to see what it looks like without the script. I'm starting to lean towards maybe this, this darkened script is just not doing me favors. Where did we put ourselves? Just, just deleted. Times six. Oof. You know the biggest terror of Dreadhold Castle? The making of it. Scary shit. 
Nothing in here compares to the terror that is building of it. Sauron had the ring, we would know it. So I, don't, I don't hate. We shall hold here. Hello, Applex. Normally? These are strange tracks. I mean, it's a lot brighter. I'm going to have a look around. We shall hold here. We could just save save the dark bit for the next one. Oh. It's a long way. We must wait for cover of darkness. I also kind of liked it. That is our road. I think we might want to get rid of the lighting things. What do we have here? Or make them very small. If you see Aragorn, look at him right now. It's a long way. I don't think there's actually any in this hallway, but when you pass Go by forward. them. I'm going to have a look around. It's very bright. We do not stop till nightfall. Which is fine if he's next to a light source. Of course. It's a long way. See, I actually think this room looks better being able to see more of it. The darker it gets, the more like the less you see. What do we have here? But it also kind of feels like there's no roof to me. What do we have here? I see the lighting. I swear to God, I'm gonna rip my dick off. That is our slap, road. Slap the it's screen. A long with way. Every time I fix this, it's right. fucked again. These are strange tracks. So annoying. It's a long way. Yeah, we'll, we don't worry about that. Is our road. Gold. I don't like it's a it's long, long, long way. What do we have here? Into the wild. We shall hold here. Into the wilds. That is our road. It's moonlight. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Indeed. I just justified it. On the spot. We must wait for cover. A bright ass moon, but. We shall hold here. Okay. I just think it looks cool in this room, so I'm going to keep it. Into the wild. Okay. That is our road. What do we have here? I think that's fine. Other than that floor. We just got fucked again somehow. These are strange tracks. I'm on the fence about the darkened script. We could just make it darken very, very slightly. I like the mood it was giving, but maybe it's just too much. Let me go back over it. Nothing is final, of course. I could, I could use it. I could not use it. It would be easier if I didn't have that script, because then you could just leave the castle and it'd still be the same lighting. Because if you go over that and you go back, the lighting will be fucked on the rest of the map. Which I actually haven't seen the rest of the map in the darkened script. Can't say I want to either. I am seeing those there. Just dark in a fair amount. We shall hold here. But there you go. Like, see when you go next to a light source. Aragorn lights up. What do we have here? I kind of like that though. I'm going to have a look around. As long as he's next to a light source. We shall hold here. But when you're not, then it's kind of the wild. It does give him the illusion he's passing by lights, which is good. It's a long way. But then you go by like these, and then you have nothing. I should put one here, I guess. We must wait for cover of darkness. Indeed. Go for. I might make it a bit brighter. I'm going to have a look around. We shall hold here. Go for. What do we have here? It's always off putting when you go out of the castle. Indeed. But then you don't have that, like, echo. <laughs> we must wait for cover. Like, oh, yeah. Go for. Look out. We must wait for cover of darkness. Oh, shit. We shall hold here. Oh, 
Uh, I'm a big fan of this part now. What do we have here? Just the addition of trees in the end. I'm That's going to have a crowd. I actually really like this bit. That is our road. We shall hold here. It's a long way. Go forth. I think it's too... Too dark. I'm gonna try brightening it. We'll have a dark and scrape, but have it not as dark, perhaps? I mean, I've adjusted it a few times already. Okay, so we're at like 0.12. We do like... Let's see how crazy 16 is. Might just be very subtle, which might be nice. We are going from like kind of a bluish hue to like a non bluish hue, which also makes it dark and in like, like look less in outdoorsy. In my opinion, at least. <clears throat> Because the blue kind of gives you that moonlight feel. So if you take that away and just kind of make it generic lighting. It looks a bit more indoors. I still want to have something like this. And I don't mind if you go outside. I think once you go into the castle, you're going to be trapped in the castle though. That's my plan. Like the gate will close behind you and then you're locked in. <clears throat> I think that'll be the way to do it. So I don't have to worry about that anyway. The one ring answers to Sauron alone. Alright, let's see how, how this looks. That is our road. We do not stop till nightfall. Okay. It's still dark, but less. Go for. We could probably get away with 20, to be honest. Still have it be all right. I'm going to have a look around. The thing is, we get to see a bit more detail when the, it's not as dark. You know? Although the little details These I put in the map tracks. will actually show. I'm going to have a look around. I'm just going to be like too hard to see. Things wait for cover of darkness. Are all these flags fucked? I'm going to have a look around. Every one of these flags is forked. We must wait for cover of darkness. I think it's because we resize them. We shall hold here. They don't seem to resize and rotate very well. Indeed. But some of them are fine, like the straight ahead one. Hmm. We shall hold here. I think the one on the throne is good too. Where failed it? See, it looks a bit more spooky when it's dark. We shall hold here. Indeed. I'm going to have a look around. Go for. I think there's. I think the flags are just. I'm off. going to have a look around. It's a long way. Oh shit! I gotta go to work early today. Oh, She's in the wild. Four hours. What do we have here? Oh, no. <laughs> well, I slept plenty. We do not stop till nightfall. Into the wild. We shall hold here. Go for. I love that sound. Stop till nightfall. Gathering change. We just wait for cover of darkness. What do we have here? We shall hold here. Yeah, I didn't fix that for. Indeed. What do we have here? Alright, we'll try 20 darkness. That's basically double the darkness value I had originally. So I think that's that's probably good. Twenty. It's not huge jumps in numbers, of course, but you know, it's enough to make a difference. I feel. Apply. Okay. Let me fix 
fix this fucking thing real quick. Hopefully it's the last goddamn time I have to. Which one was it? This one wasn't it. Ah, uh, this one. All right, we'll bring it down like point twenty. Oops. <coughs> Not quite enough. Be fifty five. The wrong way. It's a long way. I'm not going the wrong way. All right, sixty five. It is. I didn't fuck up the floor. Gave us a bit of an edge here. Which I, of course, don't want. <sighs> okay, that doesn't solve that. What if we dig down with this? There. Did that fuck up the floor height, though? Seems fine to me. Okay, let's hope that's fine. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to play with that anymore. Makes me hate life. All right, let's see how that darkness is. Darkness consumed me. So now that we've done that, what's the next part? I wonder. It's also the idea of teleporting to a new room to be the end of the map, but I don't, I don't really have any space in the map that I'm not using. It's not entirely true. We have a bit of the farm that we're not using. It has doesn't have to be a big room either, so we can just go cut into the. Northern Kingdom was destroyed long ago. Part I mean, just like a dark wall, perhaps. There we go. What do we have here? It definitely got darker, but it's not too much. It's darker. a long way. We shall hold here. I think this is better. Into the wild. It's a bit more playable. You get to see a bit more. We must wait for cover of darkness. These are strange tracks. We must wait for cover of darkness. These are strange tracks. It's good you can see the Morgul Sorcerer in the throne room here. I'm going to have a look around. Why does he do that? What? Is it? Must be what the door. What do we have here? Into the wild. So you pretty clearly know where to go because this big green beacon. We must wait for cover of darkness. And the, uh, I'm going to call him the Lord of Terror, I think. He's currently called the Lord of Bones, but I think Lord of Terror is... Go for it. That is our road. Are you fucking kidding me? These are strange tracks. Why is this so difficult to get right? I don't understand. <laughs> Every time I adjust one, we shall hold something here. else fucks up. We do not stop till nightfall. We shall hold here. I hate seams, especially when you can see it with Thor light. That is the smallest seam. The lighting, though, I'm happy with this lighting. This will be the lighting. It's still dark, but not not crippling dark. Good. At least I've settled on that again. 
sorry. Sorry, I have to fix this again. Believe me, I don't. I don't want. It's it's. You can't really see it in world That's the problem. Which one was it? It's this one, I guess. So I'll just go down ten. I like to think that would fix it. A bit more of the floor is clipping through here, though. Uh, problem is that goes too much, I think. Ooh, we are going over here. So the only way I'm going to figure it out is testing in game. I can't see it. I'm surprised how long it's taken me to make this tiny ass treasure room. That's reassuring for the rest of the map. But the rest of the map will not be using floor plates as floor. It's literally just the throne room because this. This is prime reason why I'm not doing floor plating instead of just like textured floor. Because it's super annoying to work with. It looks great for this room. Other than that, it can go fuck itself. Also, the nice thing about us using a different place for the uh, floor or the exit is we don't have to use those floor plates. We can use any texture here. Because it won't like be clipping inwards from the throne room itself. We could leave the door there as well and just have it when you walk up to that door after a certain points, it'll teleport you. I am seen those there. Okay, it looks what like do we, we have here? It looks like we fixed it. Uh, expect you soon. Into the wild. It's so subtle. These are strange tracks. No one will ever see it. But I see it. <laughs> Fuck. One more adjustment should do it. Point two. Did that fuck up the floor already? Yeah, okay. So I'm thinking uh, bottom right corner is where the exit's going to be. Maybe we can go into that... I don't think there's enough space. I might cut off more of the farmland then. I think the farm's already too big for what my idea was. I wasn't actually sure how to fill the farmland. I think the problem is it's just, it's just too big of an area. So we'll cut a big chunk of that farmland out and put a uh, an exit there. I know what hunts you. We shall hold here. That way we can we can make it not like a tiny tiny room. We shall hold here. Okay, that looks acceptable. Thank God, the treasure all looks fine edgewise. And I could finally stop fucking with the That tree. is our road. Excellent. Treasure room complete. Feels good, man. Took far longer than it should have, but feels good, man, anyway. So. Let's never look at it again. So let's look at the farm area. Basically, we have this. Currently, this is just unused space. I think we'll make a bit more unused space because uh, I don't, I don't think we need this much farmland for like a small quest line area. I'd like it to end like here, ideally. And that'll give us enough space to put a, like a chunk inside of here where we could do the end of the map. Are going voice files plus cave echo is a scary thing? <laughs> it is a bit, isn't it? Okay, this is 180 heights. Sure. 
So we want, we want the height tool to be. Let's do like. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna end it here. I think I need a grid for this, actually. It's hard to make a, a solid wall without a grid. Straight one, that is. Oh no, it doesn't. What am I saying? Just fucking lock angle. Ooh. Oh yeah. God, that tool exists. Wait, forgot that existed until just now. Well, that pretty much sorted us and made a straight wall for us. Fantastic. Let's go like 20. Let's combine this with this. And then we'll paint it all black. That should be good for usage. I might have to do the same with the. Uh, Hang on, that's not. That's not right. Not sure what the. And you're right, that's gonna be the edge of the castle. Let's undo that. Well, we can we can fix that later. It's not really a priority at the moment. So let's go. Let's lock angle again. I'm not sure if it's going to look like a straight wall. If some of it is fine and some of it isn't, it seems. It's never easy, is it? Right. I suppose we could try this. If we just do that, I think that works. It looks like an edge of the map to me. Oh shit! Turn off this locking angle tool. If we just make an enclosed area, we can just paint it with a paint paint bucket. There we go. Beautiful. Now we gotta move this uh, fog wall we made a long time ago. Over here. Isn't there like one here? Did we not make a complete fog wall? I find that hard to believe. So this sticks into the uh I see. This isn't actually done. <laughs> I haven't done this part apparently. Okay, that's fine. So like this. We'll just get the corner of it done. With the fog. I can't really can't really fucking see it to be honest. Where is it? Ah, there it is. You don't want it sticking out too much, because then you actually will see it. And it looks shitty if there's like some cross of fog on the outside of the map. Okay, cool. Good, I'd say. Let's fix this uh, fix this grass up here. Oh no. Hopefully I fix this 
that? There we go. Cool. Alright, so this is the edge of the map over here. We've made a false edge of the map. Now we have this big chunk to play with in this like divot we can make. So basically we'll go uh we'll go down quite a ways. Like to I don't know. Fifty height. And we'll just make like a uh we'll carve ourselves out a bit of a a room. I don't know how big we want the exit room to be. I wasn't going to make it big originally, but it's also because I didn't have space. That might be good. We can go bigger if we need. I think uh, giving it a texture that we can actually see would be useful. So otherwise we have no idea where the fuck we are. I think for now. You won't see this from the outside, I'm hoping. I would imagine you can't. How the fuck could you? So basically we'll have you teleport at the edge of the map. End of the map, rather. You walk up to this door after you get the key from the treasure room, and it'll teleport you here. And you'll feel like you went to the door. But in reality, it just teleports you somewhere else. And then you do the end of the world, end of the end of the map, which I think is kind of good. And the end of the map, of course, will feature this hole and some rope. And that's all I have planned. <laughs> Excellent. I don't know what we're putting in here, quite frankly. I haven't really thought about it too much. We can make it start to look like the catacombs, maybe. Like, make it look like a bit of a tomb or something, and then we could put, like, a hole in the floor. Of course, the hole in the floor will look good once we actually, like, add some black texture into the bottom of it. So this will be basically where the evil forces came from. A hole in the ground. It's a lot of units to put through a hole. You know, use your imagination. We can also probably make this hole bigger, maybe. Can you? Oh, yeah. Okay, that seems more reasonable. Like some of the things that came out of the hole probably should have, you know, had, had the room to do so. Like a big troll man, for instance. We can also, if we don't like how tall it is, we can bring it down a bit if we want. my imagination about th things going through a hole. Oh, we need no fun. <clears throat> That's the best part. Alright, what should we... Let's just play with different textures, see what we want the tomb floor to be. Ugh, god. What does a wall texture look like as the floor? Not as bad as you think. It's not terrible, terrible. Also not the worst if we're still in darkness. Probably what we should be looking at things in. <clears throat> there we go. I don't want anything with like dwarven architecture like into it. I don't want it to actually look like Moria, like you're going to Moria. <laughs> I love go. I think I found one I wanted to use earlier. 
Let me just save this quickly. We go to the Age of the Ring objects map I made. And we'll see what I threw on the ground at one point somewhere. I might have deleted it. Well, I guess it's called Age of the Ring objects, but most of this map is actually beef me bottom objects. <laughs> Make a lot of sense, but hey, fine. Apparently, I didn't. Okay. Or I didn't, I deleted it. Oh, no, there it is. We could actually use this as the end room. Can we put a hole in here? I don't know, but we're damn well gonna try. Okay, I like that. Let's, let's copy this. We'll copy that texture. Let's go back here. Oh, my stomach is really... I'm a bit hungry. I mean, it's already a pre-shaped room, which is useful in itself, really. We might need to make the room bigger, if possible. I don't know if it is. Oh. Not sure how we fit the hole. That's too big, of course. It's too big. I think we can adjust the size of the hole, perhaps, and like put it in the corner here. Let's do like one point. Maybe. Fill this with this texture here. I think that's a good one. I guess we could do it more like. Add that part going to the wall there. Sure. Don't hate it. Let's paint all this here. Actually, the well should have that as well. As well. Cool. So that can be our like edge. Be like, oh, this is where everything came from. And then you'll spawn a rope, and you'll quote unquote go down the hole. But of course, you won't actually. You'll just end the map and then go to the next map. And then the next map will be kind of like this catacomb Moria style thingy. I like it. And it fits in the walls. And also like has an edge so I don't have to fuck around too much. Quite convenient. Let's make sure the edge is actually like proper. So we have some of the wall going into it, don't we? Yeah. Let's go for like a 50 size height brush. Just make sure this is all clear. It's crazy how you can fit it into like just a little cove in a wall. You never know it was there from the farm area. Be careful not to go too far. All right, we're going down the map. And then we'll just uh, fix the edge. 180. A small brush. Oh shit, this might actually have to go higher. 
Or this will have to be lower. It'd be easier to go lower than raise everything up. So I'm gonna do that. We have plenty of space to go down. Just maybe go like 30. 30, not 300. So if we do this, the whole thing should, in theory, be a bit deeper and we can uh, not have to raise the sides of the walls. So this will have to be like, we'll just put something here and block it. We don't want that actually looking like a door. Or do we? I guess we do, technically, don't we? We could, uh, that's the door you came in, right? So, we could take this door slash wall here. Just paste that in there, maybe. Might look okay. Might be a bit weird. That's worth trying. It's kind of weird you're, uh, just throwing room leads to a catacomb, but you know. I don't really care. <laughs> Whatever. I'm going for fucking realism here. be a door. It'll just be a wall now. It's hard to get like proper. Okay. That's pretty pretty close. Okay. Like it lines up with the thing, but then when you look at the edge, it doesn't look like it's lined up. Like I'd want. Fuck it. And I think we'll add some pillars to hide the fact that it doesn't fit. You'll be using the shit out of these pillars anyway. Might as well keep doing so. I'll probably throw some in here anyway. They look good. It's a nice, it's a nice pillar. I'm glad I get to use it so, so frivolously. How far are we here? I think we're like that. Let's let this touch, touch that. Oh, that's touching that. Okay, let's just go to here. Have it like that. Fuck. I didn't actually check to see if this is deep enough as well. Although I guess it is. Oh. You're gonna see these pillars. I can't use pillars here. Fuck. Because they stick up too high. Even this sticks up too high. We're not deep enough. Let's go to zero then. I mean, you can't go any further than zero. Down. Hopefully, we won't. We'll need to. Maybe that'll be deep enough to a point. We, we won't be able to use those big pillars. Those, those are going to be massive no matter what. We might be able to use the small ones with torches on them though. If we're lucky, they're not too tall. Alternatively, we can just use no pillars, leave it as is, and just use the little floor torches things. And those work just fine. I just don't want you to be able to see this from the farm area. It seems to obscure most of it. This does stick up a bit. But how much? How much? I can't tell. <laughs> it's so dark. I think we need to... I 
genuinely have no idea. We could bring this thing down, actually. Uh, how do we do that? Obviously that doesn't work, but if we put it, like, just back here... That looks fine. Also gets obscured. Everything looks good. That works better than I thought it would. I would like it if this doorway was... Maybe we'll just make the doorway bigger. No one's going to know that the door is bigger than the other side. That way it just fits, you know? So probably slightly off. There's this tradition. Alright, let's make the door bigger then. To fit our new archway. I think that's too big. A bit better. There. Is that good? It's not quite symmetrical. I need it. I need it to be symmetrical. Preferably behind that. It's going to be like. Give me that wall piece. There we go. That is perfect. Nice. Alright, let's just see how tall a pillar is. One of these pillars. These ones are much shorter than the other ones. And a bit less crazy. So perhaps they'll fit. Oh, easily. Nice. Okay, so we can use these pillars in here. These ones have light. So we'll do, do our usual tactic of putting ones like against the wall. But this 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 room basically gives you a good idea of what my second map is going to be kinda like. Very like tomb like catacombs esque. We're gonna use a lot of Moria stuff. I'll try not to make it look too much like Moria. But it'll be very similar, I would expect. I want it to be I want it to be dark. I want it to be kind of maze like, but not too maze like. It's basically Moria. <laughs> Fuck whatever. But we're not gonna use like the same we're gonna use the same walls of Moria. There's a lot of wall pieces. We're gonna use some of the set pieces that are from Beef Me One. But we're also gonna use like different flooring. Like, gonna, like Moria doesn't have this kind of floor. You can use whatever floor you like, of course, but they usually use the, these tiles. Dwarven tiles and stuff. I'm not gonna use anything that resembles dwarves. So nothing that has like a dwarf statue or whatever. I think it'll be I think it'll be good. How many of these pillars wanna do we wanna add any of these, I wonder. I mean, it's already kinda got its own pillar system. I don't know if we need like I can't put one here and here because then there's just a pillar in the way of a pillar. Maybe I'll throw maybe I'll throw a couple in here. See if we can make it work. I mean, dirt going around this doesn't really break an illusion of it being there, you know? You can have dirt piled up around the pillar, that's not a problem. Okay. Yeah, it's acceptable. It looks alright.
So we'll have a couple pillars there. We can put some more in inwards. We'll take the ones from the throne room with the multi torche. Might want to use this as well. Okay, I can get that. We can grab one of each from right here. Perfect. See these, I think would be good. Might be able to put them like in between these little slots here. That'd be kind of cool. Something, something like these. You know, obviously this one be a bit buried. Hmm, you do see a bit of the uh I really want to rotate this a little bit. We could leave that exposed a little more. Move this around all I want, so just gotta move the floor texture with it. But I don't really want that light from that shining onto nothing. Cause it'll look bad. I always use these huge brushes to do small jobs. Looks like this is all still covered in dark somehow. Almost. Yeah, that works. And it fits a little better. And we just take all you know, three of these. And copy and paste all three of them and right across here without changing a damn thing, hopefully. Oops. Just gonna make sure it's centralized. That one isn't. So is that one bad? It seems fine. Just didn't copy over properly. What if? Okay, it's kind of cool. Let's uh, let's see what it looks like. Well, actually, let's see what's a pillar situation first. If there's a tomb in the middle, that tomb's gonna be big. I'm not sure how big that actually is. Let's go get Aragorn real quick. Uh, we're going to have gone over the light scripts, but for this we can't get there without... I don't have, I don't have this teleport script yet, so... I think he's in here. Yeah. He's by the loot room. Just having a look at the loot room. It looks nice. I'm happy with how it turned out, I guess. Okay. So let's paste our boy. Well, I mean, that's the problem when you completely make the size of a whole room bigger. But when you can only see it from this angle, it's actually not going to look like anything, particularly. So that's fine. I don't mind a giant sarcophagus. You know, <laughs> whatever. Fuck it. I wonder if you can go up these stairs and stuff. I'll give it a try. I don't think you can, probably, but maybe you can. And uh, where do I want some pillars? I don't think there needs to be many, if any. 
Lighting on the outside might be enough. I kind of like just, I kind of like pillars. I kind of have a thing for pillars. Though. I gotta, I gotta confess. I can't do that and then have it on the other side. I think we just do no pillar. Yeah. Because the hole just kind of ruined the illusion there's a pillar. Okay. I don't know if there's going to be any enemies in here. Maybe? We could put like a few guards through the hole. They could be like, stop them from going down, or something. Or we have, like, intruders. <laughs> I don't know. Something. Doesn't have to be extreme. They could literally just say intruders. But don't let them go into the tombs. Something. I don't know. I'll think of dialogue later. That's going to be a whole thing in itself. Thinking of dialogue for everyone. A time may come for valor without winner. It's a long way. Okay, it's kind of cool. I like it. These are strange tracks. They're big to well as. We shall hold here. I'm wondering if maybe we should make that well into like a pillar or something. Or maybe like put a fire coming at the top or something. make it look like something other than a well. I'm going to have a look around. It is well massive. It's a long way. We shall hold here. Can you actually go wild? I didn't think so. That is our road. Okay, so do not stop till night. We're gonna leave that like that. We we're just gonna make it impassable all the way around. Indeed. That is our road. Yeah, this is just the edge of the map. I'm going to have a look around. That's all it needs to be. These are strange tracks. It's a long way. We need to make the ground go up so you can like These are see tracks. this. I'm going to have a look around. Or of course we could bring the hole down. But I kind of like the edge of the. Uh, you can see the edge of the hole. We shall hold here. If you bring it down, then you can't. Alternatively, we can make that hole smaller. It is pretty massive. And then do what I said. Probably wrap it up soon as well. I'm thinking maybe bring it down like a little tiny bit. Still want it big because it has to be Big enough for an army to get through, realistically. Single file, of course. <laughs> As you do. There's a lot of queuing in the evil faction. You wouldn't expect. Oh shit, I see it. There we go. Okay, so how do we... Well, first of all, we don't do it in this camera angle. So we need to raise the ground up a bit around this hole. So you can kind of like... We can raise the ground up to the point where and just make it invisible? Honestly? So you can kind of like look into the hole from an angle without like going physically into it. We'll smooth it out a bit of course. Let's just get to like a, a rough edge here. Definitely needs to be smoothed down because otherwise you have a uh, strange plateau kind of thing. Hill. Just the opposite of what I just meant. It needs to be almost like the same height as the rock under it, pretty much. It's 
So once it starts peeking up here, and we flatten it. Let's just, let's just see what was that the object. Uh, uh. For now, let's just do this. Because we can actually see the hill. <laughs> Otherwise, it's slightly confusing. Okay, so we need to, we need to see where the ground itch these. There it is. I'd like, I'd like that to be standable, if possible. So we're too crazy with the flattening. This, this flattening rather quickly. I don't think we need to worry about anything other than over here. up. Let's actually undo that part. I guess we could do the side too. It's gonna be a little weird if you can walk in certain parts though, so we'll have to like make parts we don't want impassable or whatever. I think. Oh Jesus. How about like two? <laughs> okay. It all needs to be contained within the whole. Okay, now, let's see if this works. So what we do is we paint the inside black, of course. This might not work as I would like it to, but it might not work exactly how I mean it to. And that would be great. So it's peeking over a little bit, it doesn't matter. Because what we're going to do is hopefully make this invisible. So you only see the object. Yes, we need like a single brush, I think. Let's be very precise with this, otherwise we end up with this. So this part has to be visible. I'll have to adjust that. Because some of these squares you don't want to be uh, put invisible. Like the ones on the edges, I think. You know, anything, anything too close to the edge, if you make it invisible, will just clip into the uh, other side, causing you problems. This is wholly unnecessary, but I just I like the idea of being able to peek into the the hole. So I'm going the extra mile for some fucking reason. You know, there's probably going to be a cutscene here anyway, or whatever. I don't know. Can't imagine how I'm going to do this really yet, but I have a vague idea of what I'm doing so far. That was close. So that's like on the cusp of being a problem. That's that's literally a cusp of being a problem. Damn it. So anything that's just peeking up ever so slightly, I'll have to make a just ever so flatter, I guess. So 
So we'll just take the base, uh, the base brush height thing and do this. It's putting like, make it so you can't walk up their things, but we can of course adjust that ourselves by just deleting the passability. So far, that seems to have worked pretty well. I'm hoping it works as well as I think it's going to. Once we actually start walking on it. It might be fucky and you might go into the floor or something and then I might completely regret this decision. But only time will tell for that one. Hmm. Now this is a problem. Because we can't... Ugh. There had to be one bit that just would not work, huh? Okay, that this just doesn't work at all on this side. Maybe this side we don't have a hill. Maybe it just stops here. That could also fix my problem. So the amount of hill you're able to go will stop here. That way I don't have to worry about any of that. I'll just make it impassable from here on. I think that will solve everything. Shit. Oof. How close that was to the fucking edge. Okay, a few actually did get too close to the edge. That one, that one, that one, that one. That one. I think I did it. Alright, let's go to the passability tool. Which of course is here. So we want passable. But not too passable. I'm not sure why we only see the passability in this angle, but whatever. Where does the passability end is the question. Like how do I... I don't want the bottom is unpassable. I'll have to do it one square at a time. Well, I mean, it's annoying. I'd like to see what I'm doing. And it keeps going invisible for some fucking reason. Sure. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So we'll do something like this. Obviously, you don't want them going into the hole. That'd be really awkward. Just gonna do a line around it. I said I wanted them to stop like here. Was it? Yeah. So just do that. Invisible wall of them right there. Perfect. Alright, this bit, uh, I think it's like a divot, right? It's kind of itself from the top, isn't it? Gotta go like that. Sure. I'm not convinced by some of it, but, you know, I can't really tell by looking. Like this. <laughs> Fuck's sake. So awkward. Shit, I went too far. I was out of control. It's probably do a lot and then you have to undo what you did. It's like should do it small chunks at a time. I'd always recommend doing things small pieces at a time. Because of that reason. Like, I often will just hold the texture button down, do a giant s spot, and then go, fuck, I fucked up, and undo, and then just undo a lot of 
stuff. Where I could have just let go of left click for one second. And it would have made another, like, chunk that I could have undone without undoing everything else. Such so as things, I guess. So this... I like the idea of it being like a giant brassiere or something, you know? It could be cool. So let's see if we can find something to put in there. I mean, the only thing that work flame-wise is one of these, really. I can't remember if making these bigger make the flame bigger. Let's find out. Oh. And if you put it low enough, it hides the light, which is good. Okay. Let's try making it even bigger. Let's try to make it fill the space. Interesting. Wasn't originally what I had in mind, but actually, I like it. You're not really going to see it much from the top, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I could go bigger, though, if I really want to just actually fill the space. How big is that fucking flame going to be, though? It's going to be massive. Which really is okay, to be honest. I'm just hoping this actually scales properly. I can't remember if they do. I think these do. So it should be, it should be okay. I remember doing it. I don't remember if it worked. All right, let's see what that looks like. And if I'm happy with it, I'll head off. I like it though. It looks cool. It gives me great hope for the catacomb map. Just judging the fact I can actually make something look like a catacomb. It feels nice. Of course, I still have to worry about designing an entire castle, so. Yeah. We also thought about adding a wizard tower. So I had any idea where you could basically go to it. We use the teleport script again and teleport your party up to the top of it. You could see like way high up. I know what hunts you. Could be cool. I'm going to have a look around. Indeed. Right. Go for. Oh dear. Okay, this actually needs to be brought down a bit. Looks like it's a long way into the wild. All right, it doesn't really work. We shall hold I, here. As I hoped. Worth anything. You can kind of go up it. Indeed. It's a long way. Fuck. What do we have here? <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. It's a long way. Maybe... That is our road. Mm. Maybe our impassable script... Or impassable texture is too close to the... We need a bit more... Uh, strict with that, I think. So let's try, uh, try and bring it in a little. So really, truly the only place you can't go is like the, the hole, I guess. I don't, I don't remember if we did this part or not. Anything that's touching the rock, I guess we'll just remove. 
As long as it doesn't look like it might be in the hole. This part should probably still cut off here. And this is still touching the darkness. There we go. Alternatively, it just might not be high enough and you can't walk up there anyway, so I don't know. I, th I think it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Well, let's see, see if that does anything. It's probably just a big waste of time. Oh yeah, I forgot to bring the hole down. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Hopefully if we bring the hole down it'll cover up the uh, invisible floor bits and shit. I am seen those there. I'm sure everyone runs. We must wait for cover of darkness. If you actually go up there. That is our road. Kind of. It's a long way. There's not. There's just not that enough space for road. a hero to like wild. go up. You can kind of. That is our road. We must wait for cover of darkness. I mean, that's about as good as you can get, really. I hope. I, get, I would hope so. Yeah. Well, that's some barrel fog around it. Oh, look good. What do we have here? Into the wild. It's just the hole. What do we have here? Assuming it's not too large from the hole. It's too big. Alternatively, of course, we could just make like a little river if it is too big. Okay, so let's, let's stay in this camera angle for now. That way we can actually see the problem. Oh, it is, up. it is up one, isn't it? I think zero is probably what we need. I can still see some texture issue. Let's go to minus one. Mm, nope, don't want a minus one. Okay, so zero might be a problem. We could, of course, just... Uh, make visible any parts that look like they're going to be a problem. Okay, maybe not. Well, if we do that, we can just do this then. Get okay, floor, floor height. Some of the, some of the bits don't look nice. Visible bit. There we go. Look at that one. So much. So much death. Can this really not be invisible? The way it is. Let's fucking destroy it. There we go. I think that's perfect. What's the deal with this? There's like. What is this? Ground? I don't know, some ground texture. It is visible. Shouldn't be. Let me see. Okay. Cool. Uh, 
some of that did fuck up the passability a bit, so we'll go over it again. A lot of it seems. might be too too much but we'll try it and let's try adding a barrel fog actually before I forget which is civilian neutral no it's just neutral not civilian structure yeah I think a small one should do I mean if it does go out a little bit it's not a big deal Too bad you can't shrink them down. <gasps> Spoke too soon. Apparently you can shrink the area down. I had no idea. That's cool. Shit. Shit. Alright, so we want like, I don't know. Something like this. We'll bring it up. Maybe just one more. I'll shrink it in a little bit. So there's a little less clipping. That's pretty good. Alright, let's check it out. That's the map settings. Camera angles are good. Excellent. Alright, this is definitely the last thing I'm doing. I got to go! Whew. But I like it. I like what I'm seeing. This map would take like five minutes to load on Ultra. It'd probably just crash. Definitely don't recommend it. time may come for Valor without... This is without anything. Units... We do not stop till nightfall. Okay. Indeed. Half done. <laughs> These are strange tracks. Okay, well this... Apparently you can't shrink it down. It is actually the size it is. Indeed. We do not stop till nightfall. I'm going to have a look around. What do we have here? I'd also argue it's too high up. We shall hold here. Okay, well that's... We do not stop till nightfall. That's not ideal. We must wait for cover of darkness. I was really hoping you could shrink it down. What do we have here? Otherwise you'll see this like weird Go edge for. of fog. We could just put fog across the entirety of this whole place. Which would one make this tomb look spooky and two make the hole look spooky? That probably is just an easier way to do things. So let's do that instead. One, one last thing. So you see the big ones. Let's cover quite a bit of ground. much ground. Don't want it going through that. Those might be too big. If you have to use two anyway, you might as well just use two normal. Two of those. That way the fog stays inside. And it pretty much covers the whole thing. I wonder, is it good how it is? Sneak him up one? 
Well, let's try it. I think it'll be fine height-wise. Or maybe it won't. If not, we can go up one. Whatever's guarding the exit, it's not going to be too big. It's just going to be there basically to tell for story reasons more so than anything. Because you've already just beat the last boss. Not really much else you need to do in that, in that map, you know? So I'm just like you I know what I'm shopping or work or something. Worth it. Century. I'm going to have a look around. Sorry. Into the wild. Well, I mean, we could have a fair amount of stuff in here. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I didn't even look at that thing. It looks fine, I guess. Indeed. <laughs> I love when everyone agrees with me. It's a long way. Indeed. Okay, that, that works. Now we have fog over the hole. We do not stop till nightfall. You also have fog in the room. Nightfall. We do not stop till nightfall. Does this look good? I'm going to have a look around. We shall hold here. Potentially turn this into like a... Into the wild. I'm going to have a look around. Like a... Uh, sort of a... Not a barrow. Kind of like we did in the, ca the cathedral graveyard. Like make a... Uh, a thing? It's already kind of box shaped, so maybe... I'm not going to do it now, but I'm going to put an object over there to remind me to do it next time. I could turn it into like something like this, perhaps. I don't think we want to use like churchy bits, but like maybe like... What is this exactly? Not exactly what I meant. This. Right, that's not what I meant either. There's like another object here. Where are these pillars coming from? Oh shit. Oh shit. Redo everything and then undo to that point. That torch isn't actually there. I thought it was, so I kept hitting undo. That's the almond hen bit, isn't it? Like this. No? Oh, right, it's part of this whole thing. Okay, I see now. I'm thinking, like, just get a barrow door? I don't know where it's at, though. Is it called, like, barrow? I know where we can find one. Let's, let's save. Let's make sure we didn't go over here and like undo a bunch of bullshit. Now the fog was the last thing we did, so it should be fine. Let's open the ranger's graveyard map. I don't remember what it's called. The graveyard. Right. <laughs> of course. I know for a fact he's to there, so we'll just grab one from there. I do that often, if I don't know where to find something. I look right there. How convenient. Then I just try to remember a map where I did see one. I think if we just put one on the front and kind of like flush the sides out a bit so it doesn't look like it's a... Like inward, kinda. Like an indent on the sides. Might look like a thing. Well that's annoying. If you ever get that gray box thing, if you change the camera angle, but don't actually, you don't have to change it, but as long as you fiddle with it, with the camera zoom, it will fix that gray box crap that spawns around you. That's definitely a useful thing to learn as a mapper. Something like that. I mean, that alone actually is alright. If you made it a little smaller.
problem is it sticks out just ever so slightly. That's pretty, pretty clutch. Nice. That looks like a little tomb thing instead of a weird giant sarcophagus. <laughs> cool. Alright, well, that is it for today. We've made some progress. We'll refine this up a little bit next time probably. Get the edges sorted. We don't have to, but it'll look nicer. And then uh, of course we did the, the, uh, the treasure room, which I think looks pretty good. Also, hard to see because of the angle of the camera, but it's there. It's a pretty, pretty fun treasure room. It's got a lot of treasure. We got some cool light in it. So I think overall we made two pretty cool rooms. There's two less rooms I have to do later. Fantastic. Alright. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.